One, we are live for the final fourth quarter of the Steelers and the Browns game. A minute 41 to go. 20 to 13. Baker Mayfield over the middle of the hunt and a bad pass. Incomplete third and 10 for the Browns. A minute 36 to go. Flag down. It looks like it's going to be a hold on number 74. Clearly held TJ Watt. You can see it playing it. Well, maybe not. Uh, that's going to be on the Steelers. Roughing the passer. Bogus call as usual, but it's a first down for the Browns anyway. Not at all, but they got to help the Browns out some way. Absolutely horrible call. So automatic Cleveland Browns first down. You know, usually in a Browns Steelers game, you see the Browns making stupid decisions, but there it's the Steelers. And Mayfield, not a great pass, but Hunt makes the catch, picks about six yards, second down and four. Minute 20 and ticking in the fourth quarter. Browns got to hurry. Hurry up offense. Baker Mayfield, the snap, second down and five. Pressure from two guys. Fires a horrid pass. Intercepted by the former Cleveland Brown, Joe Hayden. And Joe Hayden will fall down at the Cleveland 45 with a minute 06. Browns have no timeouts. And that should do it. The Steelers win the rematch. Total domination, basically. Second quarter and on. Freddie Kitchens and the Browns fail to make the playoffs for, like, eh, probably the 15th year in a row. And the Steelers get a huge win, and their playoff hopes continue. And with the Colts' loss, even the Texans' loss to the Patriots, Steelers could almost clinch the playoffs. Huge interception, Joe Hayden. You could clearly see he caught it. And the Steelers are going to go on to get their seventh win of the season, and the Browns are going to fall and get their – uh, seventh loss of the season, if this interception stands. It might not. They're going to review it like they have to. But if it stands, this game is history, and it looks like it is going to. Baker Mayfield on the sideline crying. With a minute of six to go. And a uh, huge win for Pittsburgh. Freddie Kitchens. Might go to B-dubs after the game. Might be Popeyes this time, though. And uh, that should do it. Doesn't look like they're reviewing it. They might be. I don't know. Doesn't look like the offense is on the field yet. They might be taking a look at it, but from the replay on TV, it doesn't look like he dropped it. It looks like a clean catch. And in victory formation, Devlin Hodges kneels it. And Hodges now 3-0, and 2-0 and when getting the start. He's perfect quarterback. Maybe the next Tom Brady. You never know. James Washington looked like the number one receiver in the NFL today. And the Browns just, even without three pro bowlers on the Steelers team, I still couldn't get the victory versus the Steelers. Lincoln, you have anything to say? Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, click the bell. See you guys.